I feel like like a lot of us have problems in the Smash community playing other games, and it's because like you grind, then what you applied when you were practicing, you do. You know, either in tournament and friendlies, and yeah. you see that progress, and over and over, it just keeps going and going. And then you look back, and you're like, I can't believe how awful I was. But regardless, Spar Spargo and Chenboy are now entering their first game together. No hand warmers, jumping right into it. PS2, favorite starter, personally, for me. I love seeing this stage over and over and over and over. Yeah, it's it's definitely a popular one. Kind of the new Smashville, as a lot of people are describing it. Smashville with Hazards off, falling so far out of favor. But yeah, very I barely see it. I'm surprised that Spargo is starting Link rather than Cloud. I didn't know this was even on the table for him, but it's very possibly really good. We already saw MK Leo is capable of doing, um, and Spargo, you know, kind of almost crafting his story as the potential next MK Leo. If we're able to see his results wow. start to flourish, he's about a year younger than Leo was when he made his breakout in Smash 4. Yeah, and you know what? Like, after that story that we saw with Mr. R. And Vinny. Oh, I was there, man. I was there for all of it. And all those players traveling to Mexico for the first time, touted as the, you know, best in the world back then. Mr. R got second at Evo to zero and then goes to Mexico to get slapped by this Meta Knight randomly. Now 14 top, years old. Now top players are thinking twice for ultimate. Do I travel to another country? Do I go to the Caribbean to lose to <laughs> a round three game and watch? Like, who knows? But Spargo. Hanging in there, 114, takes the first stock against Chen Boy. This is, you know, somewhat of a funny match to watch only because so much can happen in just like one fast now. So everyone's here. Yeah, yeah I mean, Spargo with a really even exchange with Chen Boy on uh, the first stock here. And I, again, this the character choice is certainly not what we expected, so but I had very high hopes for this kid coming into the set, especially against another player team. that we're not familiar with. But Chen Boy showing that he can hold his own. This Pikachu, and the player, pretty dangerous. Uh, another really character that a lot of people originally had as one of their, their favorites. Like we were talking about how Inkling has kind of fallen out of favor. I think Pikachu is possibly in the same yeah, boat. Yeah, in the case of Bowser, he's got all that line line power. Man. Falcon has yeah. that Even with plus the ability uh, to string so many hits together. Such as plus zero claiming extremely that ridiculous was movement. Arguably this game has been toned down. Of course, he's dash grabbed him and slide him halfway across the world. But he's gotten some other changes to benefit him like that. Up B being a lot stronger. Nothing is guaranteed free. And well. constantly yeah, you're so having to like push the limit and reinvent to get those kills that you need exactly because it's all setup based. You know? Right, and ever since Spargo took that first I mean, stock by such a really small like margin, so. he's been steamrolling Chen Boy at this point. Also, we've got a Canada versus Mexico. If I'm reading that correctly, but yeah, okay, it's Rose playing Captain Yeah, Chen Boy is now giving sorry guys, I a little bit of a run for his money, but this stock differential probably. Although really out. feeling great right now. But, you know, so difficult to come back he against characters like Link where you have to you know, continually just his run into a wall over and over again, seven, hoping sure. to crack through not the less, storm of projectiles. Live back here across stage at oh, now this off stage, this is where it can happen. He ridiculous. didn't get that fair yeah, connection and, and he even missed his with. own. When you're playing a big body and he caught oh, the Falcon interaction with. right there. The new edition of Smash too, showing uh, that you can hold your Smash attack such a up to force. Yeah, really. Yeah. It's so it uncanny, but that that's something now that many characters, many players have to now consider because it's not something you can just this easily ignore, especially if you run into it because you thought it end earlier than it did. Yeah, you know, I feel like at the ledge or uh, when an opponent is coming back from very high up, that could be particularly useful. Mm -hmm. Spargo, though, not going to fall for the trick and has just continued to keep this lead going. Dangerously close to closing out the game. Link, no shortage of kill power in this game at all. And Pikachu, of course, still very light, as you would assume by looking at him. Yeah, Pikachu is always one of those characters that, with the high mobility and the high damage, ooh. He's a classic Pixie build. Yeah. But unfortunately, not going to be able to recover The high mobility there. not coming out right there for Chumboy. Spargo. With the W for the first game, looking incredibly young, and also incredibly young with that Link. I yeah, mean, very that is not young Link, though. Yeah, not young Link. I mean, we might see young Link potentially because of the overlap and also just the speed that young Link plays at. But I think Spargo likes the uh, heaviness that you get from someone like Link. And also, still no Cloud. So we'll see. We'll see if that shift is permanent or if this is matchup based. Could be pulling an MK Leo of the concealing the main. You never know. Yeah, I don't think anyone's showing their cards until top eight. And that top eight tomorrow, I can't even believe it's happening. Getting through 2,000 players just in one day to go into tomorrow with all the rest of the bracket is just insanity to me. God bless the Genesis team. Yeah, it's a 128 cut after pools, and yeah, then another so. round. Yep. 
Yeah, very intense tournament. So much competition in the building. And Chen Boy, by the way, quite a good start. And, you know, if he takes his game, I wonder if we'll see Spargo forced off of Link. Yeah, a lot of drag down by Chen Boy, both with back air and nair. He's getting a lot of confirms out of that, but also he's getting good damage. 106 right now, great for his confirms later on. I mean, the up throw into Thunder, up throw into Rar Thunder. Definitely online for Chen Boy. Now that he's off stage, Spargo's going to have to think about how he wants to get back. Can't air dodge into Pikachu as like almost every multi-hit move in the game, and a spike seals that recovery from Spargo. That was fresh. Chen Boy looking pretty good this time around, man. Yep, gonna roll right past. Back air auto cancels now. Oh, I think he just mistimed it. That was very bold, but Spargo doesn't let him have it. Now this almost, huh, I don't wanna say disrespectful, but we are seeing a recovery move being used offensively. Always gotta love seeing that. Yeah, Lynx is super strong though, so I feel like that was a well-intentioned well. one. Yeah, yeah, of course. And also, I feel like the, the one real drawback of that move is that if you try to change your drift in the middle of it, it's very easy for your opponent to fall out of the final hit, which is super unfortunate. Yeah. So that happened to Spargo on the first go around, but either way, gonna pick up that stock forward, tilt reaching so low. Yeah, 100% extra credit. We'll see what he does with it. These are situations that you wanna make sure you put like every inch that you can into. He takes too much damage, everything will be all for naught, but he gets the stock and now we are online to take game one. Yeah, we're, we're or game two, rather. First game for Chen Boy. Looking like a potential final match scenario here, but Spargo might just have to channel all the uh, Link tricks he knows right now. Wow, the bomb actually producing the red sparks there. Only 96 after the hit. Oh, and he's got a clean stock, so you saw the beam come out of his forward smash. Yeah, now we're at a one-to-one -one piece, and this is something where prior to this, he had his lead, but now he's trying to get it back. I mean, with Link being at the same stock as you, so many things can go wrong so easily. This is definitely Spargo's comeback moment. We'll see what Chen Boy has to bring. Oh, and he's just taking hit after hit. Link's such a chunky character. You don't really want to be trading with this guy. You don't want to be going blow for blow with him. You want to capitalize on the lack of mobility as much as you possibly can and just run away with a clean stock. That's what Chen Boy was doing, but now Spargo's back in it. Oh, yeah. okay. Big forward smash. <gasps> and he misses the spike hitbox, but no matter, he clips him with the multi-hit back here. We're going to see Spargo potentially get a confirm of his own, but a middle up smash sends him off ledge with a back throw, putting him in di stage disadvantage. But he oh! buried quick attack at the forward smash. <laughs> that was so clean. He blew himself up, knew it was going to send him onto the stage, so he didn't even have to deal with the potential edge guard. Then, yes, I know you want to reach onto the stage with and that a quick attack. And a smile, a light smile from Spargo as he goes back into the crowd. His uh, friends for sure giving him that props for beating Chen Boy in the fashion that he just did. I mean, pairing a quick attack.